Them bitches be letting you down. Bitches be judgmental. Them bitches be <laughs> weird. Water your plant like you want to water yourself to grow. I got this eucalyptus candle from, oh my god, Bath and Body Works during the sale. This shit right here will put you in. Mmm. I can't find a damn lighter, so I gotta use this crackhead lighter. Oh my god, and it's already been. Oh my god, this is not gonna work. This is a marijuana friendly channel. <laughs> I'm mad fucking clumsy. I'm smoking out of this little bowl. I usually don't like to, but I'm gonna just do it for video purposes. Got me some lavender, some dry lavender. Just bringing a sort of like a bit more positive move so i'm gonna put a little bit of it on my shit and y'all what the fuck i forgot i ain't got no lighter that quick that lavender it just seemed like i've been losing all my female friends and i'm just gonna be completely honest like that shit feels very very weird it's really really hard losing a female friend i'm not talking about one of those friends that you kind of like associate with it is it is hard losing a friend right before 2021 it's just like people was just like dropping like flies for once in my life I can honestly say I'm not mad at it. It is what it is, especially when it's like one of your best friends that you've like literally grown up with. And then I say grown up because I mean like you've aged with them as far as like your years. But I've come to find out like a lot of people you don't really grow mentally with them. Like, I don't know, it, it feels weird when you realize like, damn, we really don't click as much as I thought we did I really really didn't you know what I mean whatever like I'm not, I'm okay with not having like a lot of friends like I used to not be okay with that I used to think something was wrong with women that didn't have a lot of friends like, and I was one of those women I've never had a group of friends like ever even since I was younger like I've never had like a group of friends that I've ran with I've had like one best friend or like two best friends so, myself honestly like I'm not a party ass bitch. Like, I'm chill. I love to chill with a couple people, listen and vibe with some music, drink a glass of wine, like just chilling, vibing, like really enjoying each other's company, feeding off each other's energy. Like, I've, I've always been into that type of vibe, but when I've tried to run with the crowd or do things that other people do or be like other people, it's always gotten me in trouble. Yeah, you just realize you don't be growing with people. And to be honest, like, bitches be really, really weird. People don't really be showing their true colors for real, for real. Like, do little, little things to nitpick. You can't always give people the benefit of the doubt. All along, they be leaving little signs and shit that they're not who they say they are. I'd rather stop letting people like that into my space. People that I'm for sure, I know for sure, they have proven themselves to me. I don't want that to sound like a demand, but you know what I mean? Like, you do have to start making motherfuckers prove themselves in your life. People do need to, to prove themselves. Why not? You don't have to expect anything from anyone. I'm not saying expect certain things but you do have to pay attention to you know certain characteristics of people and this and that and the third and i'm not trying to sit here like i'm the perfect person because i'm not like i have my flaws and stuff too but one thing i do know is that i am a very very good friend and i've always been a good friend but like a lot of my past friendships have been trauma bonds it's like the people that i be falling out with they all fall in the same category of people and it's like the people that I vibe with and click with and there's never no animosity, there's never no confusion, misunderstanding, none of that. They kind of fall in the same category too. Kind of give off like this negative aura or like this mean personality where like I don't fuck with nobody and that's just what it is. And the people that I feel like I click with and we re we're able to grow like continuously, like they're positive, they're business minded people, they're business oriented. Um... You know, they they stick to their goals. They have things that they want to do in life. Those are the people that I found to be, like, mo the most supportive. Like, people who, you know, kind of don't really understand their own goals and feel like they ain't really doing shit up in life. They don't really understand how to support people. One of my old friendships, I felt like she was in competition with me for somebody else. 
Bitches just don't give off the same energy as I do. I've never had a female friend take my, my a birthday serious, like an event serious, anything like that. It's embarrassing when I be bragging about having all these friends, but then when I have an event or something like that, no friends in my baby shower. Hello? Yeah, let's be up. Okay. I'm that friend that will really pop up on your birthday, give, decorate, like you will never even know, but I would surprise your ass. But your existence is important to me. Anytime it's my birthday, like, mugs always got questions and concerns and, bro, why is there any question? Like, if you show me that shit, my shit important to you, then I'm going to be there. You really shouldn't have to question your friend's loyalty at all. But like, people be going out of, your, out of their way to just block you on every single thing over the smallest reason instead of just like talking some shit out. I just feel like that's childish. If we supposed to be here, if we supposed to be like a certain type of cool, then we supposed to be able to hash shit out with words and not all this animosity and anger and you know what I mean? That, I just feel like that just displays the fact that it was never just like the way I thought we was. And the friendships that I'm looking for are real, very genuine, spiritual friendships. Give and take. It's never just give, 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 give and you know what I mean? Not take, 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 take from. I'm a very motivated friend. I do have very good qualities in a friend and I hate the fact that I was questioning that based on losing a lot of different people in my life. Truth be told, those people were just really, really wasn't for me. They weren't on shit. Nobody that I lost was a loss. I really don't mean that in a mean way, but I just mean there was no way to elevate with those people. Like, I just can't see myself in a friendship with women that are insecure, women who are constantly, you know, secretly against you. And it's like, it's embarrassing. Like, when you be bragging on a friend, y'all bond is this, is this strong. And then they showing other people how, how weak it is, embarrassing you by like, not showing up to plans or canceling plans when you've told everybody like, you know, this is what it is, I'm about to be my best friend. And bitches be letting you down. Bitches be judgmental. And bitches be <laughs> weird. And I'm really just not on that type of time. Like, I'm trying to grow with my friend. I'm trying to be on some, some real grown women shit. Like, let's travel. Let's explore the world together. Like, I don't know, y'all, but yeah, I've just been feeling no, a little, but it's just all a part of life, shit. You gotta cut off the dead ends before you really start to go crazy and grow. I'm trying to really, really invest in my relationships and spiritually, mentally. I wanna, in, I wanna build up my friendships. That's really, really important to me because I never had that growing up. Like, growing up, I never lived nowhere for, like, more than two years enough to get to you know really grow a friendship i just do i really do well with very close-knit genuine spiritual friendships where we can just sit together and just like talk about everything like that's beneficial and just and, and new things you know what i mean like i've broken relationships with people just off the strength that they're judging me for breaking generational curses with my daughter like you mad at me because I'm trying to do something different than what I was, you know, I was taught when I was younger. Like, that don't, that don't really resonate well with me. That don't feel right. That don't, that don't sound right. I don't know. But yeah, y'all, it, it definitely do hurt losing a friend. It really, really does. Especially when you thought that you was going to be here forever with that person. And it's like so quick for them. It's so easy for them to walk out of your life just with a, the blink of an eye. My life, the way I see my life going... Those people who left me, they don't even matter. I was not benefiting from no relationships at all. There was nothing that those people could give me. And I truly, truly mean that. I was able to give those relationships more than they were able to give me. I have a friend, like, she literally, she, you blocked me on everything. She blocked me on everything, but it's like, she's always watching my stories and shit on Instagram. And she don't even follow me. And I just find it so weird that she's keeping up with me. Very defensive. I can be very, just like... Especially when I feel misunderstood or anything like that and to have very strong reactions to everything But that's because I feel everything so strongly like all my emotions. I feel them so fucking strongly I'm being so fucking honest like I do tend to spaz and <sighs> one thing that I do know I don't intentionally hurt people like I'm very genuine. I'm very loving friend I'm still learning new things. Don't get me wrong I'm learning new ways of being a friend and when to keep my mouth closed and things not to say you got to find bitches who on that type of shit too. 
that's just what it is if y'all want some story times on my friendships comment down below then shout out to my friends that i do have y'all i fuck with y'all the long way and definitely fight for a friendship if i feel like it's worth it and that's just what it is i will i will fight for my friendship and i will show the person that yo i'm willing to make this work because i know that you're a person in my life of substance and i need you here so yeah that's my video y'all my, my camera about to die i hope I, I was rambling on in this video i wasn't making no fucking sense because i've took a couple shots and hit the freaking bong so whatever hopefully i'm able to put together some sort of type of video please i hope yeah y'all thank y'all for watching this video if you enjoyed it thank you give a thumbs up please and i will do more chit chat smoke with me videos whatever the case may be subscribe if you haven't already and i will see y'all in my next video